disqualified candidate of a great consolidated People's Party, GCPP, says it is unfair for the Electoral Commission to disqualify them based on an error committed on their blind side. Dr. Henry Latte is at the EC office with his lawyer on the disqualification. Just share with me yesterday when you saw that you know you had been disqualified from the 2016. Uh, uh, what was your first reaction? Um, out and out of shock. Okay. Because we've done everything right. 2012, we didn't have a problem. And I did not say why 2016 we're going to have a problem. And I had the wrong information on the radio, so I said certain things that I shouldn't have said. Although I did not insult anybody, I, I just. What did, you hear? what did you hear on the radio? I heard that I had been disqualified one because my papers were, were not up to scratch. And I said, no, I filled, out, filled in my papers. Everything was up to scratch. And they were in four sets. And all the four sets were correct. And we certified them four times before we, we came to the electoral commission. And we gave it to them. So if it's missing, it must be in the office. But then later on, I discovered, I went to the website. And then my general secretary told me, went to the website. And then we saw four, four, four uh, reasons for the... Um, Disqualification. Put it on record that the Electoral Commission never contacted you of any errors prior to never, being... Never, never, never. Even yesterday they said they had told us. It's only this morning. Now. They brought it from office. The letter just came from the office now. This morning. It's not fair. We've done our job. We've done everything correct. We so spent thousands of money to... Look, we spent a lot of money to have our constituency sorted out. We spent a lot of money to have a regional con congress sorted out. Millions indeed. And then you come in and you fill your forms right and then they don't follow the principle and then they say they disqualified you, it's totally, totally unfair. You are here at the Electoral Commission headquarters. Uh, obviously, you want the situation rectified. So what are you going to do? Are they there? Have they attended to you? Yesterday, we came here last night. After we heard the news about 4 o'clock, and then they said uh, they were too busy, they couldn't see us, and that we should come today. But we're waiting for law, Maurice Ampa, who's our lawyer, to come with us so that we can go and discuss the matters. I don't think it's a big issue, because what is there, it's just a small thing. And if they, they, they see that they realize they made a, a, a mistake. I'm you sure made a mistake, but do you think they've also made a mistake on your part? Because if, signi if signatories are supposed to be there and they are not there, that's a mistake on your part. That's breaking but, but the, law. the law. No, it's not breaking the law. The, the law allows you to amend it. They should call you to amend it. That's what the law says. But you admit you made a mistake on your part. I don't know yet. We have to see. If there was a mistake, you have to amend it. Even the last one, when we came here, 2012, one of the things I did not send my signature, they called me in and I signed it and that was over. And that is their normal practice. But it wasn't done this time around. So we want to know why they didn't do that. And then this young girl who had signed for two, another party. Do I have a magical wand to know that she's, she's done that? Is, that? is it for me to have a magical wand to find out whether they've signed for somebody or not? Would, how could I know that? Yeah, but doc doctor, this is somebody who is supposed to be supporting you. Yeah, it means that the person know? should sign for GCPP and not sign for any other candidates. But how do we they know? have done that. How do we know? How do we know? Look. People wear T-shirts. That's when you cannot blame the EC. You cannot blame us either. Because you see people wearing T-shirts. And they may not be NDC. They just want T-shirts. When people go around and say, what party belongs to say, oh, I'm NDC. Meanwhile, he's wearing an MPP T-shirt. So what do you do about that? The law has to be amended. It's a wrong law.